jukebox Julie Petras has already won $12,000. She is back to try to make it again to the bonus sprint today on Scrabble. A six-letter word. The clue is it covers the bare facts. It's the crossword game you've played all your life, but never quite like this. And here's your host, Chuck Woolery. Uh, thanks, everybody. Thank you, Charlie Tuna, and welcome to Scrabble. It's the television version of everyone's favorite game. Home viewer word was sent in by Leona A. Dragon from uh, Pittsfield, New Hampshire. Got a t-shirt for you, Leona. Today, the jackpot in our bonus sprint stands at $7,000. The winner's going to get a chance to that at the end of the show. And Charlie has our first two players. She's our champion. He's an operations officer. From San Francisco, California, Julie Petros. And from Long Beach, California, Roger Hawkrider. All right, nice to have you both here. Julie has, uh, she's our returning champion with $12,000, as everybody knows by now. But uh, tell us a little bit more about yourself, Julie. Well, I don't know. What do you want to know? <laughs> well, see, if I knew that, then I wouldn't have to I ask know. you to tell well, me about yourself. How about that I have a stuffed peacock named Hank? Is it real? Yeah, he's stuffed. <laughs> well, let me ask you this. When you stuffed that sucker, did you, did you leave his little tail feathers going this way, or are they all fanned no, out? No, they're just going that way. Uh, see, yeah. it'd be a lot more fun if it was all fanned out. <laughs> I, couldn't, I couldn't think of that, I guess. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's it, folks, for Julie. <laughs> Watch her play. How you doing, Roger? Great, Chuck. Tell me about yourself. I'm a graduate of Cal State Long Beach with a bachelor's degree in business management, and I'm what you might call a weekend vacationer. You seem awfully serious, Roger. I'm trying to get to <laughs> <laughs> Roger, loosen right up. Okay, you're the challenger. You're going to go first. We're going to play Scrabble until somebody uh, gets three words right. That player goes on to our Scrabble sprint. They have a chance that bonus uh, worth $7,000. Take a look at the board as we start off here. We're building on the letter O, eight letters in the word, and the clue is they've been asked to step outside, Roger. Now, when you think you know the word, uh, hit your buzzer because those pink and blue bonus squares are worth money. It goes something like that. I probably didn't get it all right. They've been asked to step outside. They've been asked to step outside. Um, don't know it yet. Tile number four and the one. U and an A. The U? No, stop it right off the top. May work to your advantage, Roger. We'll see. Julie? Oh, I'll take tile number 10. I don't know what this is. L and an A? I'll take the L, please. They've been asked to step outside. And the A? They've been asked to step outside. I'm not sure. Take tile number three and tile number nine. Oh, and a P. The P, please. They've been asked to step outside. See, when Julie does this, I don't have to work. <laughs> she always repeats the clue for me. Oh, I still don't see it. Um, Placio. Oh, that's a stopper. Okay, Roger, they've been asked to step outside. Okay, Chuck, I think I know it. I'm going to go for the money. Okay. Five and the seven. Take the S. Take the S, he says. Five hundred dollars. They've been asked to step outside. Parolees? That's right, yeah. One, one, two, three, four, five hundred dollars. Yeah. Well, building on the letter A and parolees, Julie. You ever see anybody come to life like Raj? I mean, Raj just had this little shell all around him, man. He's out there just rocking and rolling now. Okay, Julie, building on the letter A and parolees, six letters in the word. The clue is long time no see. Long time no see. I don't see. Take tile number three. And tile number one. I like this one very much, by the way. I, not the that H, that means please? anything to anyone. Long time no see. Long time no see. And the A. <laughs> it's worth $100. Long time no see. Sahara. Sahara, exactly right. <laughs> That's great. Don't you like that one? Long time no see. Many moon come a shot. A big foot athlete step in bad stream. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. <laughs> 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 
Mm. Building on the letter A in Sahara, nine letters in the word. The clue is some of them never miss a trick. Some of them never miss a trick. Mm -hmm. um, not yet. Tile one and the two. K and an I. The K. No, let's see if it works for you this time. Julie, it's over to you. Oh, it's over to me. I'll take tile number 10. A and an I. Well, that doesn't help a whole lot, but I think the I might be worth some money. Place the I. Some of them never miss a trick. Magician. That's right. Oh. Did you know that, Roger? You know it, too? Did you all know that? Oh, well, <laughs> I did too. One, two, three, four, five. Building on the letter A in magicians, Roger. Six letters in the word. The clue is, they'll tell you when you should go on a diet. Okay, I'll take tile number one and the eight. I and a T. The T? luck there, Julie. Tile number three. I and an S. They'll tell you when you should go on a diet. Uh, place the I, please. Oh, you pick two and pass one to you. Roger, only one stopper left. Possible thousand. Don't know yet, Chuck. I'll take the two. S and an E. E. Can you repeat the clue? They'll tell you when you should go on a diet. And the S. First position in the word. Oh, I'm going to go for the money. Tile number four and the five. B and an L. Uh, say L, please. That P's a stopper. Scales. Scales, I tell you. It's all tied up to anybody's game. We're in speed word, hands on your buzzers, wait till I say go, we'll put the letters in place one at a time, can't give you the last letter, it's up to you. Building on the letter E in scales, seven letters in the word, the clue is, not too many people are up to it. Not too many people are up to it. Ready? Go. Not too many people are up to it. Julie? Hundred. That's right, you got it. Well, Roger. You got five hundred dollars. Thanks, I'm great being here. We enjoyed having you on the show. Five hundred bucks for you, and Julie's a champ again. She's up to thirteen thousand five hundred dollars. Congratulations, Julie. Yeah. We'll yeah. <laughs> come back and watch your play Scrabble Friend right after this. Yeah. first fishing trip then this fever hit but i know the children's tylenol is already working children's tylenol to bring fever down fast i wouldn't trust anything else for you it's the one most pediatricians give their own children why trust anything else it took me 19 years but i finally developed a good relationship with my body new ob slender regular is the tampon for those of us who are a little more sensitive about our bodies new ob slender regular I am not going to take it anymore. Sure, madam, you still works. I'm not going to take it anymore. But it's pretty. I'm not going to take it anymore. No, nope. no more. Now there's low-calorie citrus cell regular. Look, Metamucil is gritty. It won't all go through the strainer. But the fiber and citrus cell pours through. And no fiber laxative is proven more effective, not even Metamucil. I don't take it anymore. I take citrus cell. Citrus cell orange or low-calorie regular. Totally unacceptable. A clean dish should not come out with food, detergent, or other nasty residue. So I did it. I say it wasn't rinsed with Jet Dry. See this hole? The manufacturer made it for rinse agents like Jet Dry to help your machine rinse off the stuff. So, use Jet Dry. Fill the hole once a month. Or, oh, if you don't have the hole, use the solid. Got it? Good. Get it. Jet Dry rinses off residue for shiny clean dishes. And now, back to Scrabble and Chuck Roy. Well, Julie Petras just keeps plugging along. $13,500. Is this your third day? Fourth, I think. Is this your fourth? Is that fourth? Is that right? 
Don't everybody jump at once. Hey, good, okay. <laughs> She's going to establish the time to the next crossword. going to try to beat that time. I remind you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock. And? There are no stoppers. <laughs> We have guys carrying cards around with all this stuff on. I mean, they could go to sleep for a month. It, has, it makes no difference. Here we go. First word, five letters. Goldfinger. Goldfinger? Ready? Okay. Go. I. A. M. Goldfinger. D. Midas. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I can get that for sure. <laughs> Second word has seven letters. It keeps your feet on the ground. Keeps your feet on the ground? Ready? Go. No. <laughs> Gravity. That's right. Good. <laughs> Don't do that to me. It scared me. I mean, you're the first person that's, always, that's ever said no. Everybody always says yes. Third word, eight letters. They come out at night. They come out at night. Ready? Okay. Go. R. S. D. They come out at night. N. T. E. Dentures. Yes, I, I have no idea. We did the research on that. Uh, nine letters. They'll always have Paris. They'll always have Paris. Ready? Okay. Go. F. C. Frenchman. That's right, 24.1. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You went know, through those pretty good. Two of them a little slow, but that's it. All right, 24.1. That's the time to beat. We'll be back. thing that ever happened to a kid's lunchbox. Why the plan to add Farrah to Moonlighting has Sybil furious. Enquire Within. We've got what you want, the way that you want it. Enquire Within. Book exclusive. Kirk Douglas reveals his sizzling Hollywood romances. Enquire Within. Twelve reasons you should never diet. Nineteen million people. Read us for a tip or a grin. Cause we've got what you want, the way that you want it. I can see clearly now the rain is gone I can see all the obstacles in my way No other glass cleaner works like Glass Plus It sprays, and now, with a flick, it foams To stay where you want it, and clean without streaking It's gonna be a bright, bright, bright Glass Plus day Glass Plus cleans glass, plus a whole lot more it don't taste the same with nothing in the middle. Nothing in the middle. Nothing in the middle. So why eat a cereal with nothing in the middle? When there's oh, 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 so much in the middle of O's. Mm. Honey, grain, and lots of good things baked inside those crunchy rings. So why eat a cereal with nothing in the middle? When there's oh, 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 so much oh, yeah. in the middle of O's. Quick rose. Well, back here with uh, Judy Petros, Cross, I'll get that right, uh, KRBC-TV down there in, uh, where is it, Abilene, Texas, I believe. They've been with uh, NBC for 35 years. We here at Scrabble would like to congratulate them for that. And we have two new contestants. Charlie. He's an interpreter. He's a waiter. From Cincinnati, Ohio, Sylvia Basil. And originally from Boston, Massachusetts, Michael DeSilvio. All right, nice to have you all here. How are you, Sylvia? Hi, Chuck. Well, tell me about yourself. Well, Chuck, I am from Cincinnati, and I know you're from our part of the world. Well, I'm not far from that neck of the woods. That's, that's right. That's right. Did you know Cincinnati was celebrating its bicentennial this year? No, I didn't know that. Well, we are, and I brought you a souvenir. Oh, how nice. Nobody ever like brings me a well t shirt representing the it's bicentennial. It's an enormous pig with wings on it. Why is that? <laughs> 
It's well, the home of the flying pigs. That's right. Did you know that? I did not know that. Does anyone in Cincinnati know that? Well, yes, and as a matter of fact, it was a very controversial issue. There were some I very conservative why. people in Cincinnati that felt we were destroying our international reputation as a conservative city with the flying pigs. Let me have this t-shirt before the Chamber yeah, of Commerce gets a hold of us. Oh, good, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to go back and get a plaque for this. You realize that, don't you? <laughs> it's nice to have you here, Sylvia. Hi, Michael. Hi. Tell me about yourself. Uh, I've been living in California for just over a month now. And I got you look kind of startled, like that startled fawn look, you know, like you just got into town. Yeah, it's, it's different, different than home. Yeah. Um, I'm working as a waiter in a Malibu Beach restaurant. That, that's even worse. Yeah. Yeah. I'm kind of stressed because a lot of celebrities frequent the restaurant that I work in, and yeah. I've had good opportunity to meet a lot of them. Where Where exactly are you from, Michael? Uh, Winthrop, Mass. Oh, you're from Massachusetts. Mass. Oh, yeah. Nice. Well, okay. Great. Well, it's nice to have you here. Good Thanks. luck to you. Who won the toss? I did. All right, Sylvia. Let's go to the board. We're building on the letter O. Eight letters in the word. And the clue is he looms large on the horizon. He looms large on the horizon. Okay, Chuck, let's start with two tiles. I'll take the 10, and I'll take the 6, please. J and a D. Uh, let me have the J. No, stop it. Michael, over to you. He looms large on the horizon is the clue. Okay, I'll take another tile. Tile 1. L and a D. Uh, let's have the L, please. It's worth $500, Michael. He looms large on the horizon. No idea. How about the D, please? No, I still don't know it. Okay. Uh, the five. A G. And the seven. And an N. Give me that N. No, that's stopper. Only one stopper left, Sylvia. Okay, I'll guess this now, Chuck, well, I hope. <laughs> uh, she can do that, can't she? Yes, yeah, she can. Godzilla? Uh, yeah. yeah. Anybody, uh, anybody figure out what Godzilla means in Japanese? Big sucker. <laughs> Great big sucker. <laughs> oh, okay, building on the letter I and uh, that great big sucker, uh, seven letters in the word. The clue is dirty things some wives refuse to do. Michael? Okay, I have no idea. I'll take the one and the nine. N or an A? Uh, the N, please. Dirty things some wives refuse to do. Nope. How about the A? Nope. Let's stop her, Sylvia. Over to you. Okay, well, I have a guess, but I'm going to go for some money and meet oh. my goal. All right. I'll take tile number seven and tile number two. W and an N. I'll take the W. I think the N is a stopper. Is it Windows? That's right, it is Windows, yes. <laughs> Pretty good, Michael. Want to get back to Godzilla? I got to chew up some time here, I think. <laughs> okay, Michael. Building on the letter O in Windows, nine letters in the word. The clue is they can help you out of a tough situation. They can help you out of Give a you a thousand dollars if you can tell me what it is right now. They can uh, help you out of a tough situation. Nope. Okay. Tile number one and four. P and an L. How about the L? First position in the word. I still don't know it. How about the P? They can help you out of a tough situation. No, I still don't. I'm going to have to take the five and the nine. Another L and an H. How about the H? No, nope. the L. They can help you out of a tough situation. I still don't. Uh, the 10. And the 6. T and an O. How about the O? They can help you out of a tough situation, Michael. And that's just what I'm in. How about the T? <laughs> yeah, let's stop her. Sylvia? Um, I'll take two tiles, Chuck. I'll take the eight, and I'll take the three. S and an E. Uh, put up the E, please. 
loopholes. That's right, it is loopholes. Yeah. Well, yeah. welcome to California. No, not zero. It's not zero. You don't get nothing, Michael. You always get something here. I mean, we have that, uh, what do we got for him? Camera. Michael, got a camera for you. Just point and shoot with Vivitar's PS135 camera. Autofocus, auto exposure, automatic film loading. Beautiful 35 millimeter photographs furnished by Vivitar. Well, that's good. You have something like that? Thank you, Mark. You don't? Like to use. Oh, those are great. You like that? You're enjoying it. Thanks, Michael. Thank Thanks you. again. You're a good player. Well, Sylvia. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Back to Cincinnati. What is it? Now, what else could it be? But why, why is it the pig town or whatever you Well, want? because originally Cincinnati was it? produced more pork than any other city in the country. Well, they also had big... Uh, I remember as a kid, I used to go visit my cousins there, and uh, they also had big... Uh, what do you call them when they... Oh, butcher. Yeah, they butcher oh, yeah. pork. Right, right. right. It's yeah. the home of several giant major meatpacking corporations. That's right. That's what I was... Major meatpacking meat corporations, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, anyway. I spent a lot of time there smelling that, and it didn't bother me. <laughs> I like Cincinnati. I took my senior trip in Cincinnati, right down the Ohio River on a big uh, paddle wheel. When you're from Ashland, you do that. That's... You take your senior trip to <laughs> Well, I mean, it was better than Cold Grove, so <laughs> anyway, we'll be back and watch your place Scrabble's friend, see if she's good at that. Here's a cute new magic mushroom. Where's the old one? This is it. Smells like new. Mm. This must be the old one. Smells like new to me. Mm. Airwick's magic mushroom smells like new day after day. Like new. Like new. Like new. Airwick magic mushroom. <sighs> Time for Wrigley Spearmint gum. Wrigley Spearmint? What is Wrigley Spearmint? Well, it's pure chewing satisfaction. Data, please. Cool. And refreshing. Chewing enjoyment goes on and on. Analysis? Wrigley Spearmint is pure chewing satisfaction. Yeah. So how come you never talked to me before? Wrigley Spearmint is pure chewing satisfaction. Fresh scent Clorox. I say fresh scent Clorox. Fresh scent Clorox. Please goodness. Smells so good. Fresh scent. Another great Clorox bleach. Goodness, it smells so good. It was a hot, steamy night. Drains were clogged all over town. Three tough guys plumbing. For clogs at their worst. It is for you. Liquid Plumber is the plumber to call first. To clear out tough clogs, call Liquid Plumber first. She looks great. And that outfit wouldn't lie. If she eats one more thing, I'll scream. Oh. Oscar Mayer Oven Roasted Turkey is just 25 calories per luscious slice. Someone here already knows that. So go ahead. Just 25 calories a slice. A crazy brother, a knockout lover, a wise guy punker. What happened to your hair? What happened to yours? Brackman's Family Affairs on L.A. Law, Thursday. And now, back to Scramble and Chuck Lorre. Okay, about to finish up here, Julie Petros has uh, $13,500, lots of money. 24.1 is her time. Sylvia Basil has $500, and she thinks 24.1 is a pretty good time. We'll see. Uh, play the same four words. Remind you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock, and there are no stoppers in any of these words. All the letters are good. Okay. All right. First word has five letters. Goldfinger. Goldfinger. Ready? Ready. Go. F. D. M. Goldfinger. I. Midas. Yes. The second word has seven letters. It keeps your feet on the ground. It keeps your feet on the ground. Ready? Ready. Go. G. Y. Keeps your feet on the ground. Gravity. Yes. The third word has eight letters. They come out at night. They come out at night. Ready? Ready. Go. R. T. D. Oh, sorry, U. N. They come out at night. D. Dentures. Yes. 2.4 seconds left for the last word. It has nine letters. They'll always have Paris. They'll always have Paris. Ready? Ready? Ready. Go. R. Frenchman. That's exactly right. All right. <laughs>
minutes of the second. Very nicely done. Are you ready for that? Beat you by one tenth of a second. Now, obviously, you will get that. Oh, well, lucky you came up with that last one off the clue. Uh, Judy, you're going to leave us with $13,500. Thanks for being on the show. We enjoyed having you. Good luck with your money. Sylvia and I is $1,500. She's going to try for $7,000 right after this. Well, that was a heck of a game. Some hefty users are a little rougher than others, so no wonder they put a super strong strap on the hefty cinch sack. Hefty, hefty cinch sack. Forget wimpy bags, get cinch sack with the hefty strap, the super strong super cinch. Beep, beep, ding, dong, surprise, they're here. I need a cake, what to do? The microwave cake from you know who. Seven minutes is all it takes. Wow, when did you bake that cake? Good-looking and moist, Pillsbury, like a cake should be, yum, yum, dee, dee, the microwave cake for anything. Thank you, thank you. Love it from the oven, <laughs> Is your skin changing? Maybe it's time to change your makeup to one that actually improves the look and feel of your skin with special replenishers. Replenishing makeup from CoverGirl. It's a beautiful change for you and your skin. Okay, Sylvia Basil from Cincinnati, Ohio, has one thousand five hundred. Can't believe it. Oh uh, well, how about seven thousand more? Oh, Go I would, I'd never be. This is I'm dreaming, really. No, you're not. This is reality, Sylvia. <laughs> <laughs> Two words under ten seconds, I give you seven thousand dollars. I'll try. Okay. Well, you can do this. Oh, good. Six letters. Doctors make them. Doctors, Doctors make them. Make them. Ready? Ready. Go. S. N. R. Doctors make them. D. Brown. Yes, 3.9, you're behind the clock. <laughs> 3.9, you can figure how many letters you can put up. Right. Seven letters. I know you can do this. Some people never get any. Some people never get any. Ready? Ready. Go. R. Some people never get any. P. Team. You know what it is. Some people never get any. No, I don't. Respect. Oh, I thought for gee. sure you get that. You got oh. the R, the P, and the T. You had it right through the middle of the end, oh. so I thought you get it for sure. Well, still 1,500. Bonus goes up to eight. We'll see you tomorrow. Come on down, sweetie. Wardrobe finished by Pierre Cardin. Scrabble, starring Chuck Woolery, is produced in association with Exposure Unlimited. This program is based on the Scrabble brand crossword game. This is Charlie Tunis speaking. Scrabble is a Red's Granny production.